Hey guys and girls, thanks for joining me today on this video. Today we're going to be talking about the best wax. And that's a little bit of clickbait for you. But it's not intended to deceive you or sell you on a specific product. Really, it's just to get you here so I can hopefully give you some information that's going to help you determine what is the best product for what you're trying to do. But before we get into that, I guess really let's just talk about the categories that are out there for what's considered wax. Number one, there's compounds. Compounds are typically going to be abrasive, so like a gritty or coarse material that's designed to remove either heavy oxidation, moderate oxidation, heavy scratching, or scuffs. So that's going to be compounds. Next, we've got cleaner waxes or glazes, and those are also going to remove those same things. Oxidation, scuffs, not so much scratches. Cleaner waxes and glazes are typically a chemical form or a solvent form of product that's going to remove those imperfections in the surface you're working on. Next is going to be actual wax. So you're probably familiar with carnauba wax. Um, a lot of people use that as a buzzword to kind of get the old school guys to know that it's a pure or good wax for protection. Now typically your carnauba waxes and things like that, they're not going to really remove any of the imperfections or impurities. They're typically going to be a topper or a finish wax. Next category I would say is going to be your polishes. Those are going to be products that are going to remove some of the issues you may have created with a compound or a cleaner wax. Any kind of swirling, any kind of um, just inconsistency in the finish. So those polishes, they're kind of going to be a blend I think of maybe a really fine compound and possibly even some some solvents also and basically it's kind of like the reducer to just finish off and give a really fine finish and just a a poppy kind of a perfected finish job another category would be polymers or sealants those are going to also be kind of a finish or a topper that's going to produce protection for the finish it's going to be more of a longer lasting man-made type of pr protection as opposed to a carnauba which is a natural pure supposedly um, finished wax so now we kind of know the categories we've got compounds cleaners glazes finished wax and polishes so let's talk about the different circumstances where you'd use these different things Let's say you've got a fiberglass surface that has not been waxed in over a year. Typically, that's going to have some oxidation. So you're going to want to use, at a minimum, a cleaner wax. And most likely, you're going to need a compound or a combination of those. The way that I've found that works really well is to just blend a couple products together so that I can do it in kind of all in one step. Now, when I say all in one step, I don't mean buffing over at one time and calling it done. I mean using a, a combination of products and going over a surface area multiple times until I can see what's going on and that the clarity is there, the oxidation's removed, and so forth. So, <clears throat> I'll probably have to do a whole other video on, on the multiple step deal with buffing and kind of my opinion about it and the differences between that. This one, uh, I think I'll just stick really on, on waxes. So the bottom line is, why do we wax a car, an RV, a boat, whatever? There's a couple reasons. One, it's got imperfections, oxidation, scratches, scuffs that are distorting the finish or you know making it look bad or not as good as it can. So that's one reason. Another reason is just maintenance. If you 
wax a boat, RV, or car, it's going to be easier to clean, it's going to look better, and it's going to hold up longer. Oxidation is basically going to detract from that, and eventually, if it left unwaxed, is going to ruin that finish. So that's why we wax. All right, so the typical order would go something like this. Start with a compound, move to a cleaner, finish with polish, and then really ultimately finish with either a sealant or a topper wax. All right, last of all, what product is the best? Well, unfortunately, there's hundreds if not thousands of waxes. So my suggestion to you is buy a product that is well known, has a lot of different options for you in the categories we just talked about. And for me, I found that Meguiar's is the best. Now, they don't sponsor me, I'm not paid by them, I simply use their products. So, Meguiar's is a good choice for any of the type of products that I spoke to you about here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the uh, comments, and I'll be sure to answer you back if it's a question. Thanks for joining us.